Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick video uh, inspired by a member in the BIM After Dark community, and it has to do with modeling a wood deck. Um, and so what I decided to do is take this question, which is asking how do you model individual deck boards? Um, so basically one by sixes or um, Trex decking, if you guys are familiar, stuff like that. Um, modeling that individually, um, but I took it to the next level and sort of talked about maybe three different ways to to approach this um, one being not modeling individual decks the second being um, using beam systems and the third being using a curtain system so let's dive right in and uh, and i'll show you how to do it so what i have here um, is a file with uh, some wood decking so uh, wood deck rafters i should say and uh, you can see here there's just three of them we're going to do three different options these are just two by tens so this file um, has um, dimensional lumber loaded into it if you don't know how to do that you go to insert up here, you go to load family and you can load in your dimensional lumber. Uh, you can see here dimensional lumber family. And so I loaded in two by four, two by six, two by 10, etc. Um, so what we're gonna do first is a method where you don't model each individual one and you actually just make a floor type. So what I'm gonna do is go to architecture. I'm gonna go to floor. And you can see this is a default template. So I have wood, 10 inch ceramic tile, wood finish. So I'm actually gonna use wood joist 10 inch with the finish. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify it and i'm going to remove the joists because i already have the joists modeled individually so i'm going to go to edit type i'm going to go to structure and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to move the oak flooring down i'm going to remove the sheathing and i'm going to remove the structure and now the, the key here is i need to change this to from from finish the core boundary to structure because it's the only one there we'll call it three quarter inch i'm going to leave it oak flooring for now Obviously, if you want, you can rename it. Uh, you can call it whatever type of flooring you want. But I'm going to leave it oak flooring because oak flooring does have the graphics that we're kind of looking for, which, as you can see here, it's parallel. Uh, maybe I'll make this uh, a little gray, gray tone there. And I'll do three quarters of an inch, inch and a half, three quarters, depending on what you're doing. Um, I'll just keep it three quarters for this one. So then I click OK and OK. And now I'm going to do most of this work in 3D just so you can see what's going on. Um, and I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to. Actually, I'm, I'm going to just do a rectangle. I'm going to look from straight down. I'm going to do a rectangle from one end to the other here. I'm going to do O on my keyboard for offset. I'm going to offset it maybe an inch just for fun. Um, I'm going to uncheck where it says copy right here. See that? I'm going to uncheck that. So then what it's going to do here is if I tab and click it, you see it's going to offset my lines all the way around by one inch. And now I'm going to click finish. And now you can see my beam system is actually a little high. So I could either, or, or my beam systems level with the level with the level. So I could either sync those, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to jump this thing up three quarters of an inch so we can see. And there we go. So now you see what we have here is a graphic symbols of the flooring, um, but you don't have the individual floor. So if I go to level one and I cut a section here, we're going to look at what these look like in section two, just for fun. Pull this back and change the scale of this guy from eighth inch to let's do half inch. I guess we'll go even smaller, three inch, sure. So now you can kind of see what this looks like here. All right, so that's that's what the decking looks like. So depending on what you're doing, that would probably be the first the first approach, right? The first approach would be just model the floor. But then if you need to model the individual decking for whatever reason, um, there's a couple ways you can approach it. So I'm gonna show you my two favorite ways. Um, and the first one being beam systems. This this has its pros and cons, um, and maybe not the final way that I had to decide, but it is, it is a valuable um, lesson in how to utilize the beam system tool to do exactly that, make a beam system. The only difference is instead of beams being this way, they're gonna be this way. So instead of vertical, they're gonna be horizontal. So with that, what we'll do is we'll jump right back to 3D. And what I'm going to need to do is actually make a, a structural framing type that is a one by six. Right now we have two by six, so we have two by eights, so we have all those. But we don't have a one by six. So if I was to go to the structural tab, go to beam, and you can see I have two by 10, two by six. So if I draw a two by six, what you'll see is that's what it is, a two by six. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that. I'm going to go to edit type. I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to call it a one by six. So one X six. And I'm going to change my dimension from one and a half inches to three quarters of an inch. We can make it exactly one, depending on what you're doing. If it's Trex, for example, a lot of times it's exactly one. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do three quarters of an inch, 
and then I'm going to do 5.5 inches and I'm going to click OK. And now we have a one by six. So we're going to use this. We're going to generate a beam system, but we're just going to have it rotated by 90 degrees. So let's do that now. So I'm going to go up to my structural tab. I'm going to go to beam system. And now I'm actually going to pick my supports because I can. Okay, and you'll see this is going to just this is going to tell you what direction. So we actually want them to go the other way because if we did it this way, then they wouldn't be being held up by the joist. So I'm going to click beam direction right here. I'm going to select this guy. And now if we want, we can offset it uh, for the sake of argument. I'm just going to leave it non offsetted um, just because I picked picked whatever it is. And now over here, I'm going to set up my my information. So I'm going to do a fixed distance of let's do six, six inches for now. Since they're five and a half, we'll do six inches. And we're going to justify the center for now. Dimensional lumber would we'll do one by one by six. And that's it right now. And click finish. And now you'll see we've got these guys and they're obviously going the wrong way. So we have two options. We can modify the family so that it's rotated or we can actually just select the individual elements um, of that beam system and, and rotate them. Again, this is the pros and cons. I use the one by six. If, if you want, you could make a family that's actually a flat one by six. But I'm going to just select across. I'm going to do um, framing other, I think it was, or Joyce. Let's see. Yeah, so it's, it's called framing Joyce. And you can see there's a cross sectional rotation, and you can say 90 degrees. And now you can see it's actually starting to lay out. Obviously, you want to modify um, your, your adjustments uh, where the beginning, where the start is. So you can see I'm starting, the justification is the center. Maybe I wanted to start at the beginning um, and that'll adjust it a little bit. You might need to adjust the boundaries so that it works the way you want. Um, or what you can do is you can also take any one of these pieces, you can copy them, you can unpin them, um, and you can sort of move them around because they're just beams laying flat. So I'm just going to use CO on my keyboard for copy, you know, stuff like this. And you can see now I'm actually starting to get my decking. And now this decking is actually in 3D. But as you saw, it's a little iffy um, because of the fact that, you know, you have to use a beam system. And then the truth is, um, you know, you, you have to modify it a little after the fact. If you wanted to make the beams, um, you know, one by six in the other direction, that would help, um, you know, a six by one, basically, um, that would help. But uh, you're still going to deal with interesting edge conditions and how it cleans up. And that's probably the biggest issue with this one is the edge conditions and how it cleans up. But you could see you've got your decking right here. So our first method was making a floor, making a pattern, making it the th thickness we need. Our second method was utilizing a beam system, um, which has its pros and cons. Uh, you can feel free to mess around with the different areas there. And the last one is actually using a curtain panel family, which kind of sounds weird. But if you've seen any of my tutorials about um, curtain wall slats and, and how to utilize curtain wall for standing seam metal roof and all these different things, you can realize that uh, it's called the curtain wall tool and curtain system tool. But the truth is, it's just a tool that gives you a grid within a profile that you can host elements to think about it that way. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's jump in and, and use the, the curtain system method uh, that I'm talking about here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to we're actually going to use a roof, uh, mainly because if you go to floor, you'll notice that uh, you don't have any options for curtain wall for floors, right? You don't have any of those options. So under roof, you do have those options, right? You have, if I do roof by footprint, we're going to do it off of level one. You have a sloped glazing, okay? <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can see where that is. It's right over here, sloped glazing. We're going to take this, we're going to edit the type, we're going to duplicate it and we're going to call this wood deck exterior or something like that. And now you'll notice we can we can assign a curtain panel. We can assign a joint condition. Our curtain panel is going to be empty and we're going to use just one grid layout for this um, and we're going to apply a fixed distance and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do six inches and we will keep adjust for, for layout size or adjust for mullion size on grid layout. We can turn off for two because we only want it in one direction and then the mullion types. So for right now, we're going to leave it none. Or actually, this is what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll assign a mullion type, and then we can modify it after the fact. So I'm just going to assign the one and a half by two and a half mullion type. 
and then we can assign that to the fact, just so you can see what's happening here. So if I do one and a half by two and a half, click OK, apply. And I'm just going to look straight down on it. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to tab the edges and I'm going to turn off to find slope. So that's right there in the middle there. I'm going to do the same offset for this one as I did for the floor. And I'm going to click finish. So as you can see, uh, grid one was probably not the direction we wanted for this one, but that's okay. Um, and you can see what it's doing is it's actually making these mullions deep in here. So we need to make our mullion type, but first I'm actually just going to switch this. So you could rotate the grid and do all that, but honestly, it's not worth it for this for this particular tutorial. So I'm going to flip this to fixed distance for grid two. Turn this to none. Click OK. Click delete grid lines because it's just rotating everything basically. And there we go. So now you see we've got this, this setup here. So what we need to do is make a mullion type that is our one by six. So way down here under families, we're going to go down to curtain wall mullions. We're going to take our rectangular mullion and I'm going to take my one and a half by two. And normally I would duplicate and rename um, and then reply. But for this, we're just going to re we're actually just going to modify this one. So it's bad practice. You normally want to duplicate rename, but for this, I'm just going to call this wood decking. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to change some properties. First, I'm going to change the material to lumber. Soft wood lumber. The width on one side and the width on the other side, that's going to be when you're looking down on it, which direction it goes. So we want five and a half. So we're going to do 2.75 inches. Copy paste that there. And then our thickness, which is our thickness of it, is going to be three quarters of an inch. Click OK. Now there you go. You can see we've actually got some decking in there now. Notice that this one actually put borders, right? Because it's a it's a curtain system, so add them to the borders. And then we can start playing with what that means um, as far as the justification, um, how we want it to end, um, how we want the borders to be. And so you start having a little bit more um, a little bit more editability to it, right? It's a mullion system, so you can actually put a grid in the middle if you want to. Um, and you can see what it's doing is it's laying in the one by sixes there. So it has a little bit more flexibility. And honestly, if I was to do it, um, that would probably be the method that I would use. So let's just take a look at what that one looks like in section now. We'll move this section over. There you go, you see? You have your wood decking in section. Um, in 3D, you can see the same thing. If we turn on the section box. You can see you're starting to see your, your wood decking in section there. So, <clears throat> so a couple different options. You can see it looks pretty good. If you need it for quantification, if you need it for just visual or to be able to figure something out, you know, that's that's probably your best approach. So there you have it. Three different methods uh, to modeling wood decking. Um, or Trex decking, I guess, composite decking, any type of exterior decking if you want, uh, in Revit. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.